Um, I'm Adrian Thomas, and I played for Carmel High School's tennis team this year. I started playing when I was five. My mom was really into tennis, and I just found it really interesting, and it's a sport I really fell in love with, and I really liked it. When I first kind of started tennis, I started Carmel Racquet Club, and I had a few coaches, not high school coaches, but just individual coaches from Carmel Racquet Club, and it's close, and it has a lot of good players to play with, and you know, it's just something I've been used to for a while, and I like it, and it's, it's, a, good, it's a good competitive tennis program. I have a lot going on besides tennis, but it's definitely a huge part of my life, and it's a great sport because it's all you. You have to find the way to dig yourself. I think it teaches you a lot of life lessons in terms of staying calm in tough situations and being calm mentally and having mental toughness. Some days I'm really into it, not thinking about anything else really, just thinking about playing and doing the best I can, but then other days I'm totally like worried about, oh my gosh, what's going to happen with this result? Will I get this spot? Will I not? What's my coach going to think? I'd prefer the other way, not thinking too much about anything except playing the match, not worrying about the result, just doing the best I can. One of the biggest things I think I've learned from tennis is you have to just accept what situation you're in, whether you're not getting the spot you want on the tennis team, whether you're not beating that person who you want to beat, or you're placed in a group where you shouldn't be placed, or you can't ever think negatively about whatever situation you're in. And I think it was, I think it's just like learning how to you know, stay calm in tough situations, and especially with the tennis team, you know, building teamwork and working with uh, working with others, you know, to achieve something really great, you know, such as winning state championships. If I do get that spot on varsity, I would just work hard the entire season and, you know, leading up to sectionals, regionals, and semi-state and the state championship. But, you know, if I'm not one of those varsity players, you know, the best thing I can do is just keep working hard and get my other help, get my other teammates fired up to cheer on the varsity when it comes, you know, to the postseason. My goal is to definitely have a better spot than I did last year. And, um, hopefully beat some players who beat me last year in tryouts and uh, you know we played for spots and stuff like that so just definitely to improve more as a player and that just starts with all the hard work put in and practices. I would have to say being a varsity player that wins the state championship just winning the state championship and being one of those people who can say yes I was on that team and I played in that state championship and we won that's probably my that's my ultimate goal.